What's up, boy? (coughs) Too much cringe. So I asked you guys on Twitter whether you wanted to hear about an incident that involved racism or pedophilia, and you guys picked pedophilia. This is gonna be fun. Anyway, that was fucking creepy. Let me go ahead and jump right into it. This story actually involves me having to go to a therapy group because I'm fucking crazy. Sometimes I scare myself. So I end up going to this therapy group and it has about 30 people in it and there's a talking stick. It's like we're in kindergarten again. It's great because I loved kindergarten. There's a talking stick and it gets passed around the room and when you have the talking stick, it's your turn to talk. When you don't have the talking stick, you stay silent. So I wait for my turn to talk and then I go ahead and I'm talk a little bit because I've never really been in a therapy environment before. I've never really been in a room with like 30 people who are forced to listen to me. So I open up a little bit. People look extremely bored and don't give a shit about what I had to say, but that's okay. I felt pretty good talking. Then the therapist said that he actually encourages members of the therapy group to find other people with similar interests and talk and maybe exchange phone numbers, which is great because during the talking round, I actually ended up seeing a cute girl who talked about video games. And I was thinking, hey, this could go pretty well, right? So we talk after the therapy group and we exchange numbers. Later that day, we end up talking about video games and then more video games and more video games. It really doesn't go anything past video games until a couple of days later. And then it just moves on to like little simple real life things like food, movies, you know, basic stuff. It never actually goes beyond that. I swear, guys, it doesn't. (coughs) I think I just choked on something. (coughs) Oh, man. Oh, that's refreshing. But yeah, I have to go back to this therapy group a certain number of times, and I end up going back, and we get the talking stick again. It's great. I get to listen to everyone's shitty problems and pretend that I care. And everyone has to listen to my shitty problems and pretend that they care. And all of a sudden, the talking stick gets passed to my female acquaintance. And we're not going to use real names here, so let's just go ahead and call her Lakeisha. Fuck. That's not a great... That's so racist. I shouldn't say that's not a great name. That's so racist. Holy shit. Okay, we'll just go ahead and call her Lakeisha. That's not even close to her real name, though. And I'm kind of, like, zoned out to everyone, except now I start paying attention. And Lakeisha all of a sudden says something that just rings a bell, just like that. It just snap, just triggers my brain. Boom! What she started talking about that triggered me was her... Oh, fuck. This wasn't actually that long ago, so I'm still cringing. She started talking about her driver's test, and all of a sudden, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I remember my driver's test, man. That was really difficult. God, I remember that seven years ago, back when I was 16. Back when I was 16. Back when I was... Back when I was 16! Oh, shit! So all of a sudden, I'm thinking to myself, fuck, maybe she's, you know, maybe... Maybe she just didn't take her driver's test. Maybe she's 18. And then she mentions the fact that she just got her permit like four months ago. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, I'm really fucked here. I'm really, really fucked here. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden, I kind of just come to this existential realization that the universe is slowly collapsing in on me and I'm going to go to jail forever. But uh, in all honesty, we didn't ever say anything really bad. It wasn't like we did anything sexual or said anything sexual. I swear, guys. I swear. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little fuck-up story here. So if you did, feel free to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Feel free to subscribe. And, of course, feel free to check out any of my other stories. So thanks again, guys. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you all later. Bye, feast!